Hello there, YouTubers. Uh, Traz here. I had wanted to get back to uh, regular episodes after my uh, short break, but I'm still working on improvements to my base, uh, and they're not quite ready yet. Uh, so in the meantime, I have this for you. I wanted to come up with a better way of showing off how many items I had in my logistics system and on the all-item train I had built. And uh, so I came up with this. So this is a display system uh, that I've made uh, based off of a display I saw that uh, was made by Dave MCW. Um, it's actually a lot simpler than it looks. Basically, these uh, constant combiners here uh, hold the font. And uh, as I'm supporting the first 128 characters of ASCII 0 to 127. Uh, so each pair here, this holds the lowest 32 
Uh, this is uh, uh, 0 to 31, 32 to 63, uh, 64 to 95, 96 to 127. And basically, uh, the display is 5 by 7, giving us 35 different lights. Uh, so this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 9, and then A through Y. And this works by... <laughs> you, you put the... Well, let's... This is character 0, character 1, character 2. So character 0, I want to... Dis uh, for position 0, I want to display character 84. Position 1, I want to display character 72. Etc, etc, etc. I have 16 right now, so it's 0 through A. Uh, 0 through 9, A through F. And we do some bit shifting. Uh, and if the particular signal works out to be negative, we turn on that light. Uh... So here we have the <laughs> pixel zero. Uh, this pixel here is, is A is zero. One, two, three, four, five. You know, A you know keeps going up. These here separate out the colors. Uh, so uh, you can see here we're passing a color as well as uh, what letters we want to display. So this filters out the color so it doesn't get mixed in with the other values that we're using to light up. And it's relatively straightforward. I just have a timer here that flips through the different messages. So uh, I think I have 34 messages in this example. This has enough space for 64 messages. Um, so if you really wanted to, you could uh, delete this little counter right here and set a value here to show a specific message or use some other logic to display a specific message if you're trying to show different messages. Um, what else could you use this for? Well, <laughs> this is the full ASCII version. I developed a slightly earlier version that uh, only had uh, 64 characters instead of the 127 of true ASCII. And, um, well, I made this item display out of it. it this uses 5x5 five five characters. So here I have zero wood logs in this chest. Stone, 31. Coal, no coal. <laughs> Iron ore, 21. So every so every few seconds, this will flip through every item in the game. Uh, I have, no, well, there. I have space for 256. I believe there are 209 items in the game. Uh, this includes, well, fish your various liquids and all the craftable items you can see they're actually stored in here along with the name uh, this particular one has 10 uh, characters uh, so some of the names had to be shortened and I'm using black as the 10th character because uh, at this point I wasn't sure about uh, <laughs> you know because these are now uh, A through Y I wasn't sure about mixing the virtual signals uh, but I made sure that works for this full version. Um, so that's one particular use. I could think of uh, quite a number. So you can have uh, different types of warnings if you're low on different materials and have it show a message. Or, you know, insert your own use here. So, <laughs> that's actually been taking a lot of my time and why I haven't been uh, working on my base like, hey, trying out new smelters or things like that uh, but I'll have a link in the description uh, I have a whole blueprint book here um, like I mentioned this is actually uh, tileable you can blop on another character there and well it doesn't just work but all the wires should be hooked up and you just need to uh, see this is uh, I'll set this to if you set these to zero it thinks it's the zeroth character 
So now it will, you know, repeat what's on the first character. So if you want, you know, this was F. Uh, so if you want to add more characters, you can call this one G. But then you just need to go in and add a G signal to alt to whatever you want to display here, uh, which, at least for the most part, is going to mean hooking up another uh, <laughs> constant combiner because most of them are relatively full. But you just you know hook another green wire. It's it's only hooked up by green wire, and you can add as as many more as you want. I mean theoretically, you can have up to 200 if you you know <laughs> want to use every single. Uh, symbol in the game. Yeah, right now I am in creative, but obviously this will work outside of creative. Uh, I have actually used this on a server uh, to test it, and it works great. I actually have two versions of this. Uh, let me quickly show the other version. Uh, this is a count two version, uh, because while it counts a little slower, it does a nice little animation where the number will count up. Uh, so we're going to flip the logs, which I don't have any, but then the next switch, you should, will see it count up or down, depending on if it's higher or lower. Oh. Ah, uh, you're in the wrong. You're... There you go. There we go. Hey, look, it counted up and counted down. Got to make sure those uh, logistics networks are connected. So we should now count up to iron ore. And obviously it counts faster if the big the difference is bigger. So, um, <laughs> just a uh, quick video. This does, you know, support up to uh, 999,000 items. Uh, not that I have that many items, but hey, if you have a few oil tanks, they they can uh, add up somewhat quickly. So it's good for that. Uh, in particular, for this one, if you don't want to use logistics, you can hook a red wire right to this one while using logistics. Like if you want to hook your uh, wire with your oil readings right in here, then it will sh also show the fluid, like water or oil, right to this pole right by the uh, RoboPort. <laughs> so, uh, yep, like I said, quick video. Thanks for watching. Blueprint link in the description it will be on Factorio Prints. I hopefully will be back shortly with regular episodes, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.